Okay, we should be good to go. Let's do this. Put the sucker on. So I'm trying to... Holy crap, that's a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, that would be a lot of people. Yeah, he says some people will sometimes show up with gear on. So... We want to go in through the this entrance over here? You can just go in through that entrance. That's a good point. I never really take these entrances though. After you. Freddy! What up? How's it going? This is for like final stage. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, the clip. Yeah, so like, I've got all these clips, I've got a flip clip for yes, this. I've got a duct tape tab so that the bullet doesn't fly out. Um, there's a flashlight on this end, stock, holster. Oh, that's a dang bro. And I've got this, I've got extra. It's gonna be amazing. Where are we, where are we going with this? <laughs> I really like those. Uh, my my friend came with one of those. Yeah. Yeah. I might I might go to Target and grab one. I would like to revise my last shouting. The two documents are one document with two sides. Technology. Yeah. So I'm actually like I'm gonna be every time I go outside and I'm playing I'm gonna be recording. And, and then eventually I'm gonna string it together in like a multi-part vlog for YouTube. It's gonna be amazing. So it's it's going right now. I mean, like it's just gonna be. Oh God. Going. I wouldn't say anything too bad. I got the fanny pack. The freaking cowboy. Holy shoot, man. Who is he? It's Dalton. Of course it is. Is that like a squad thing? Of course it is. Bra. Thank you, sir. We gotta get a photo with all this. If this is how we're rolling, this is how we're Dude, rolling. We could you got this symbol, together. that means your friends are Spartan Are we in the same team now? Awesome. See that? No. Friends of Spartan Squad right there. GG. It's gonna be great. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, let me give you a card. <laughs> wow. I've been doing this for a while. I'm an expert, if you would say. <laughs> I'm an expert level. I'm level 20 9, mage. 000. Over 9,000. There you go. Yeah. So. Okay. What is your weapon? Do you have. My weapon is. A oh, you made socks. it a holster. Yep. That's so cool. Is it only out of duct tape, or is there like? Cardboard something? backing. That's what I figured. Yeah. So if you uh, you guys don't know, this is my weapon. Flip clip, stock flashlight. Pretty nice. Battery powered. It's got some good, good firepower on it. And I've got a bandolier clip. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's a bandolier clip. And uh, these are duct tape pull tabs, so essentially when I'm ready to use the clip, I'll pull it off and flip the clip around and put it in. So that's how I'm going to roll. I should be there. Yes, yes, you're good to go. In there. Nice. Is that a legit GoPro? Yes, it is. Awesome. It's recording right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. There's your players, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Somebody was sitting here. <laughs> Sit oh, crap. It's gonna be like a vlog series on my channel. So. Oh god, Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> Leroy, Leroy Jenkins. I'm gonna. I don't even know what that's from. <laughs> what is that from? <laughs> what? How is that from World of Warcraft? It's from World of Warcraft. Have you seen the original? <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> Kind of this. It's kind of the same thing. I've never played Destiny. A raid is a general term for when like a team attacks another base, yeah. a base of another team. The brave heart. <laughs> Give an inspirational speech yes. to all human zombies before mission starts. One inspirational speech per mission. <laughs> I would do it, but I have no inspiration. One Jesus! Hell yes! This is gonna be amazing. <laughs> cool trick. If you want to like decock a nerf gun, what do you do? Disarm it. You hold it back, press the trigger down, slow forward. Sometimes those uh, darts will fall out when you get at those. Yes. Well, if you if you push it in fast enough, because it's still a plunger mechanism. You're a plunger mechanism. Oh, I know I am. Got him! <laughs> oh! Give me a dirt face. 
Perfect. I'm gonna like zoom in on it and do some crazy dubstep oh, shit with it. <laughs> It's gonna be amazing. Hello, humans! Hello! Welcome Woo! to Fall HVZ! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for packing this room. Alright, strap yourselves in, folks. It's player guy time. Yeah. Alright! So, we are playing a game of humans versus zombies. Humans versus zombies is a glorified game of tag yes. in which you yeah, begin is. as a human and your goal for the game is to remain a human until Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> I <laughs> where kid seats are still just box. box. <laughs> All right. If you are touched by a zombie, let's pretend Kenyatta is a zombie and I'm a human and Kenyatta touches my body. <laughs> I now become a zombie. And if... You are a human, you wear your bandana on your arm somewhere. Not on your leg, <coughs> on your arm. We have to be able to see it, don't hide it with your sleeve, on your arm. The reason you have these is so we know that you're playing. So if you are hiding this, we don't know that you're playing and that's bad. So, Kenyatta tags me because he is a zombie. Now I am a zombie. I remove this bandana from my arm and I tie it around my head. <laughs> in a way that you can never way see which again. I can see. <laughs> this means I am a zombie. I can now tag people and make them zombies. So if I just tag Kevin, Kevin would be a zombie, he would move his bandana. Yeah. But there is a way to defend yourself from zombies. <laughs> if, if Kenyatta is a zombie and I'm a human Don't and Kenyatta shoot. tries, <laughs> I can shoot him with this nerf dart. Shoot him, Clint. You watch that? <laughs> shoot him, Gator. And if you are a zombie and you get shot by a nerf dart, you are stunned for 15 minutes. Yes, normally. Oh, stun shit. times will vary, but default is 15 minutes. We will tell you if your stun time is not 15 minutes. When you are a zombie and you are stunned, your bandana gets moved from your head to your neck, like that, until your stun time is up. There is one other way to defend yourself from zombie attack, and that is with socks. You can throw socks at zombies, and if the zombie hits the zombie, it acts like a nerf dart. Socks must leave your hand to count. You cannot melee attack with a sock. That falls under rule number one, which is don't be a dick. <laughs> also, no socks rocks and socks. Also yes. that. If you kick a sock into a zombie, you, you, you will be very impressed, but it doesn't count. <laughs> All right, uh, safe zones. Um, never play. You can use to do things. Safe zones are areas around every single door, uh, around every building on campus. Um, as you may have seen in your player guide, we will actually be only starting with four. And safe zones, you can shoot out of safe zones as a human. You can shoot out of safe zones to hit zombies. Zombies cannot tag you in safe zones. All right, so my mission's in currency. So back by popular demand, we've brought back a currency system, and we've also brought back uh, the black market in various shops. So this year, you may have noticed around campus, there have been little golden bottle caps. Bottle caps is currency. It's oddly suspicious. In any case, any of those that you pick up can be used as currency. Now, each of us moderators has three mod missions. There's an easy, a medium, and a hard. All easy missions get you one cap, all medium missions get you two, all hard missions get you three. In addition, every time you complete a hard mod mission, you'll get a cap with a silver star on it. It's a sticker from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> if you try to counterfeit this, you will have to drive to Hobby Lobby, buy an exact same pack of stickers, and put it on. So just don't even try to do it. <laughs> and, uh, if you get three of these, and you come find me, you may, get, uh, you may get a reward that will break the game. I'm not kidding. It will break the game. So try to get these. Know that the hard mod missions are extremely difficult, and you will probably die if you attempt them. So, hold your chairs, boys and girls. It's story time. There's been a lot of rifts that have come up between people, and uh, it's led to three distinct factions that each have their own idea about how um, survival should happen. Um, so I'm going to introduce those factions now, and they'll tell you a little bit about themselves and their goals. We'll start down there. Okay, I am Roger Maxson. 
I am the creator of the Brotherhood of Steel. We strive to have the most firepower and strength in the wasteland. So, if you want to take the offensive to the zombies, join us. I am the director. I'm the co-director. She is the co-director. <laughs> wow. We are the co-founders of the Vault Survivors. We believe in being sneaky, stealthy, scavenging, stealing, and surviving. You will be moving from place to place if you agree with my point of view, and you will not make your make a permanent residence to defend anywhere. You will stay on your feet and survive off of the sea of your wit. Okay. Right. We we are the Enclave. The two of us here. My name is Mr. Integrity. In case you forgot, um, we are all that remain of beautiful America. And all that we ask for oh, you God. is that you believe that America can be great again. USA! USA! What we like oh, to Burr. strive for is the uh, power. We're power hungry. We also like to do it in ways that are manipulative through money. Um, so if you like to make a lot of mucha money, then uh, come and join us. All right. Yeah. All right. The Enclave, we only believe in two things. Protecting your capital. And acquiring capital. <laughs> See, out in the wasteland, the survivors got to have certain values. And at the Enclave, we believe that in order to protect your ass, you need assets. You <laughs> <laughs> see that our headbands are green to symbolize the great American dollar. Green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's really uh, all we got. Join the Enclave if you like defenses, surviving, and money. <laughs> So, it's been a hundred years, and for whatever reason, Vault W is opening now. And now you have to go out into the wasteland and see what's going on out there. So, what, what faction are you thinking about? Quiet! Vault is opening, folks. We need to get out there and see what there is, because we don't have the resources to stay in the vault anymore. So it is your responsibility to pick your faction, choose how you want to play, choose how you want to survive, and see if you can survive the wasteland. So now you can come up, pick your faction, whether you want to survive, or I'm going to stick with you for this game, it's all the same. Oh yeah, bro. Squad! Squad! Here's my personal philosophy. Fuck it, I'm going green, dude. Let's do it. I'm going green. Let's go green. Um, let's do it. We are on play. I'm in the game. One last thing on factions. They will have specific rewards and weapons that you will earn, maybe, over the course of this game. Also, yeah, we got some Lindenwood people. Can we give up? Um, so if you're in a safe zone, a zombie's in a safe zone, you're about to exit a, like a safe zone or a building, are you allowed to stun the zombie before yes. leaving? Um, so safe zones, uh, opposite of play zones, you can shoot out of. So um, if you walk out of a door and a zombie also walks out of the door and you're in a safe zone, shoot that zombie. Like, don't give him a chance to tag you. And that is only in safe zones. You can shoot out of safe zones, you can shoot a zombie in safe zones, but not in no play zone. Yeah. So what about uh, like really bright lights and air horns? Air horns, this is, awesome. I think, a change from the past. We've just up and decided no air horns this year. Um, just something the so mods sad. decided that we didn't want this game. Cry every time. So no air Cry horns every time. Uh, or anything that causes really, really loud noises at 10 p.m. when we play. Charles uh, Slash Kenyatta might remember this from like two final missions ago. Cod shells? What? As for, in relation to air horns, oh my God. Yeah. cod shells. If somebody manages to bring a cod shell and successfully <laughs> makes a loud noise with it, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do we tell the OC from another random person? We sure do. <laughs> we'll we answer this question. No OC, no OC will be unmarked. Uh, don't go around shooting random people, please. Um, but just be aware of your surroundings. You will know who the OZ is. The Facebook page lights up when they figure out who the OZ is. They will post their picture. <laughs> the OZ is usually like figured out by Wednesday night, maybe Thursday morning. It won't take long for you to figure out. 
Dude, it's the best when, you, when you're watching the source page because it updates live. Yeah. You have to do it refresh, and you'll look at like the human number and the zombie number, and you'll see it slowly on Wednesday. You'll look at it in the morning, and it'll be like three. And then you would check another hour, and it'll be like seven. And then you check, and it's like ten. All right, it's like, HTC oh, has started. Go! Hey, good luck, brother. Good luck. Where are you heading after this? I'm going to my apartment. Yeah, man. Gotta meet up with my boy Rob. Okay, are we heading back? Here, we can cross now. I'm checking the ground. I would assume that they would just drop them along the path. Wait. I got some. Two caps right off the bat. We're doing good. Okay. Huh. Well, there you go, guys. You have, uh, you've now witnessed night one of humans versus zombies, and it's already very interesting. I'm excited to see how this plays out. So until next time, I see you guys later. Set the room Google Productions, and goodbye.